Hey folks, this is Imran from allaboutandroids.com and today I'll be giving you a quick tour of Android 4.2's Google Apps. These are the apps that will be released on the Nexus 4 and Nexus 10. Uh, these apps are not officially available, but on XDA developers, there are a couple of developers that have uh, created a zip that can work on any Jelly Bean ROM that you have. Um, and the ROM, of course, needs to be deodexed in order for this to work. So if you have Cyanogen Mod 10 or AOKP, all you need to do is download the zip file. It's about 175 megabytes and you go to your recovery. So if you have Clockworks Mod or Team Recovery, uh, you can just flash it and it will get rid of 4.1 and apply 4.2's uh, Google Apps. So let's go over what, what we have brand new in this version. So first of all, we have a new uh, Gmail app and at first glance, there's no visual differences. Uh, there's two main features that, that have been added. You can swipe to delete, and right there I can undo. Um, no, actually swipe to archive, and two swipes deletes it. Um, you can customize it as well. You could do swipe to automatically delete, and uh, you can just change a bunch of, uh, of what the swiping actually does. And next, we also have the option to um, zoom in emails. So right here, if you are reading an email, the text is small, you can actually zoom in. This time you don't need to go to the web browser and access gmail.com and you know view it through the browser. Now you can view it within the app. Now we're going to take a look at the uh, new keyboard. So at first glance, again, you can't notice much of a difference, but it has a swipe uh, function built in. So if, you're not, if you haven't used swipe before, it allows you to move your finger from one letter to the next character and it will uh, try to find the word that you're trying to type. So hey, there, and now the difference is it has this hovering effect that shows you what you are uh, typing. I am talking about, see sometimes if you do make a mistake, it will try to find the closest word. So like my fingers went most likely on ascot, whatever that means, and this about which I was aiming for. Holding on the middle button will give you the whole list of words that might uh, that you might have meant and right there You can just choose what you need. So right there's about um, the new Android Keyboard and there you go That's the new keyboard on Android 4.2. Now. Let's go take a look at the gallery app for example um, not much of a difference you'll see is just um, everything has become in squares not anything fancy uh, it doesn't work better it just has these squares that's all that I've noticed um, you can also um, get the Nexus 4 wallpapers and they're identical to the uh, regular Jelly Bean ones we've seen but they've added four new wallpapers so this is kind of a honey suckle kind of picture here we have we have some bubbles over here and uh, some blue abstract art and the one that we saw on the Nexus 10 if you've uh, watched the videos that's the one that they've used as their default wallpaper on the Nexus 10 and let's go to the next app which is the calendar no visual difference as well the only thing different is the icon so right there a blue icon instead of the usual green then we will go take a look at the clock so there are main main changes in 4.2 that I've noticed in terms of the Google apps uh, is the alarms and the photo, uh, the camera app, which I'll be showing you in a second. So going back, this is the default. So if you click on it, this is what you would see. This is a world clock it allows you to set up different locations by simply clicking here and it'll give you a complete list of uh, major cities in the world. You can set those times right there. Uh, swiping to the right will bring up the uh, timer. So hourglass, you can just set up 11 seconds here, hit start, and it keeps them going. If you want, you can just add a minute on the fly. You can stop it, restart, and delete. And swiping all the way to the left, we have a stopwatch. Click to start, click to stop. You can share, you can restart, and you can also perform laps, as you can see right here, and stop. Going back to alarms, uh, completely redesigned interface as well. You can click the plus sign to open a new alarm. You can set the time instead of scrolling through those uh, scrollable uh, wheels things. You just have numbers. So you could set it for 3.25 p.m. And uh, right there it is set. Now you can also hit repeat and you can also allow vibrate and change the ringtone by simply clicking right there, 
choosing what form uh, of media you're using. So let's choose uh, barium, hit OK, and there you go. I don't want it to be repeated or I want it to be repeated on the weekends. There I have it, it's all done. If I don't need it for the next weekend, I can just toggle it off. If I don't need it ever, hold on it and delete. That's the new alarm clock watch, uh, clock, clock, stopwatch, whatever. It's able to do a few things now. Instead of the default just alarms, it was able to do a few more functions. And now let's go to the camera, which is one of the biggest changes out there. Oh, actually, ah, oh. all right. So first of all, we have the, the camera interface that has been redesigned. You don't have many buttons and settings all around. You'll need to hold and it pulls up this dynamic, changeable way of changing settings. So I can hold anywhere on the screen and it will bring up this circular ring. I can change the exposure. I can go straight to my settings, which is change my picture size. I can also go to um, whiteness, change it to cloudy, which is not a good idea. I can go to uh, sunny. I can go to auto whiteness, which is always the best option and turn flash on, turn it off, automatic flash. And uh, pictures, same, uh, it does the autofocus right there, depending on the light. And I can take a picture really fast. And then next we are going to take a look at Photosphere, which is a new mode uh, available. So in Ice Cream Sandwich, they introduced panorama mode where you can take a nice panoramic shot of the um, scenes in front of you. While this uh, Photosphere mode will allow you to take street view images so you could take about 30 images all around you and it would um, use some rendering techniques to bring you a fully scrollable 360 degree uh, image. So I took a quick, quick image right here. It's really small. I just took it as for testing purposes. And this is Photosphere. So as you can see, it's navigatable. Um, there are some glitches right there. So the bottom of my drawer got cut off and also my poster here got cut off slightly. But overall, it's just amazing that you can take such an immersive image from a phone where you can just navigate by moving around. And uh, when you take the full 360 degrees, it is quite impressive. And this is definitely one of the nicest features of Android 4.2. And that's roughly it for the release of these apps. Uh, the Play Store as well has been updated. It is version uh, 0.17. Uh, but I haven't noticed any difference from the usual 0.16 available on all current phones right now. Um, anyways, this was Iman Falal and Nerds.com. I hope you liked the video. Uh, please do subscribe and comment, of course. It really helps us out. See you next time.